guys, Russ Lyman here, and welcome back to another episode of Rewind Friday. Re rewind, re re rewind Friday. Hey, what happened? The show where I take a look at games you would rent for the weekend and let you know if it was worth it or not. And on this week's episode, we're taking a look at Mega Man The Wily Wars on Sega Genesis. Let's check out that box art and description. Well, looking at the front of the cover here, pretty awesome. It's got Mega Man on there riding Rush and a couple of the Robot Masters. Quick Man, I can see Snake Man, uh, Ice Man, Proto Man's on there. Dr. Wily's in the background. Pretty awesome. Take a look at the back here. Mega Man, The Wily Wars. This time, it's war. In the last few years, a titanic struggle for control of the planet has raged. Each time it has pitted Mega Man, a cybernetic champion of justice against the villainous Dr. Wily and his renegade robots. Each time Mega Man has emerged victorious. Now, in desperate attempt to change the past, Dr. Wily has used a time machine to slip back to the time of his first battles with Mega Man. There, he plans to make sure that this time, Mega Man will be history. Three games in one. Play Mega Man, Mega Man 2, and Mega Man 3. Battle Dr. Wily from the future and his all new robotic creations. 16 megabits featuring 26 awesome stages and battery back saving. And you see some cool uh, gameplay shots here. Mega Man at level, fighting the yellow devil. Get equipped with the leaf shield and him fighting one of the robotic cats. One player only. Looks awesome. So for box art and description, looks like I'm gonna give this one a five. This is something definitely you would read on the shelf at the game store and wanna take home for the weekend. It looks like it has some good potential. Let's get on to the gameplay aspect. Well, it plays similar to just like the Mega Man's on NES, the only difference is you got updated 16-bit graphics and you have to get used to playing with the Sega Genesis controller. So it does get a little bit used to. Uh, everyone's used to that nice square controller playing on NES and uh, the rounded corners on the Sega. Just a little bit different. The game itself looks great and it has save features in it, which this way you don't have to remember all the grid passwords and all that. You can just save your game and you're good to go to come back to it. Um, in order to unlock the Dr. Wily Castle part, um, you have to beat each of the games. So you can have multiple save files, but if you start playing Mega Man 1, you have to beat it before then you can choose to play two or three. And then once you beat all three, you get that special level at the end. And then you can choose what weapons you want from all three games to use in that final level. Pretty cool concept. The music in this game is great. It adds that cool Sega vibe to all the songs that you're familiar with on the NES. Just different versions of them. So you can have the awesome classic NES sounds, but then you come over to this and you have the cool Genesis vibe with it. I like it. So for gameplay, Mega Man's gonna get five stars. On to the replayability. I mean, what can I say? It's a Mega Man game. They're fun to play over and over. Like I said, this has a save feature, so coming back to it is easy. Once you complete all three levels, you get that special unlockable level where you can choose the power-ups from all three games. And this way, if you want to play it again in the uh, future, you can choose different power-ups to make it more challenging. Maybe not take the Metal Blade this time, which is a little overpowered. Now you know who I'm talking to out there, you guys using the Metal Blade. But it's a great package deal. It has three Mega Man games on one cartridge, so you could play it weekend after weekend. Maybe just go through Mega Man 1 on one weekend and then come back. You have your save file and you can jump back into it and complete it or jump on to Mega Man 2 or 3. Something definitely you look forward to in a renting game. So for replayability, five stars to the overall enjoyment of this game. Now Mega Man is a classic series. It's a great platformer, run and gun game, and has unique power-ups and bosses. I had a great time playing this one, and if you like any of the other Mega Man games on the NES or Mega Man X series, I think you'll really enjoy this one. It has the same stuff to offer with platforming, challenging levels, great music, 
and classic bosses. Definitely worth checking out. So, for overall enjoyment, five stars. So, the final score for Mega Man The Wily Wars is 20 points. Would we rent it for the weekend? Yes, definitely. And we had an awesome weekend. Well guys, thanks so much for checking out this episode of Rewind Friday. If you entered the contest to win the Mega Man print, I'm gonna announce the winner. Well now. And the winner for the awesome Tom Bryan Studios Mega Man print is... All right, thanks so much for entering. Be sure to reach out to me either on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook and message me so we can get your shipping information. And thanks so much guys for watching all the videos this mega March. I'll be going back to my normal routine next Friday for a Rewind Friday and be checking out some other non-Mega Man games. Question of the day. Let me know in the comments below what's your favorite Mega Man power-up for Mega Man 1, 2, or 3. And you can't say the Metal Blade. As always, guys, I'm Russ Lyman. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next weekend.